The southern states have been experiencing winter weather, the likes of which many there have never seen before. The power outages, the lack of heat and water have been described as Katrina-like. Tonight, two men from Salem are in Shreveport, Louisiana, on a mission to provide heat and water to men on oil rigs. I talked with them today. They said it's a situation they've never seen before. So right now, everything's ice. Uh, and I mean, it's, it's ice. John Baddeley and Terry Bishop, both of Salem, talked with me this afternoon from a parking lot in Shreveport, Louisiana, where they had just dropped off heaters for men on oil rigs and were now reloading tanks to provide them with water. Well, we took the heaters down and then they're like, well, hey, you guys are from Ohio. You drive through this stuff all the time. You know what you're doing. Can you get us this heater or these uh, water tanks? We said, yes, we can. Baddeley works for Thoroughbred Energy Services of Lisbon and Bishop was along to help. They had pictures of a collapsed carport at an apartment complex and a jackknifed truck in the middle of a road. At one point, Interstate 49 through Shreveport was shut down. And we came through back roads through the swamps and stuff. I was scared. I even told him that after we got through. I says, I have never been this scared because if we'd have got stuck or gone off the road, we didn't know anybody. We wouldn't know where to go. They had pictures of a line outside of Brookshire's grocery store that was supposed to open but never did. So they went across the street to a Circle K. We got one pack of buns and a couple uh, cans of soup. As we were in there, there was about 75 people that pulled in right there with us. So that entire Circle K got wiped out in about two minutes. Even for two guys from Northeast Ohio, they said the driving was rough, but if they were in Ohio, it wouldn't have been as bad. In our standards, it's not horrible, but again, they have no plows or anything. So with there's no plows, there everything turns to ice. They did find a hotel room, but there's no water, so they have to take buckets from the pool to flush the toilet. The company that owns the oil rig has contracted with them to stay and help transport water and other essentials they plan to return Sunday or Monday.